I got involved in this film. Long story, short version is, I got a text from Kristen um, that was like, can you do an American accent and do you like working with me? And I said, yes to both. And then the ball started rolling from there. So I play Jojo, Joanna Johnson, um, and Jojo is, you know, she's a go-getter. She has her own makeup business. She's a hustler, like a true, true hustler. Um, but sort of her circumstances do not sort of, her circumstances don't match the life she wants to live. You know, she like was, um, she had her identity stolen really early on. So she's kind of having to build herself up from scratch, living at home with her mum. And she's kind of come from this past glory. She was, you know, a basketball star at school. She got a scholarship, she did all that sort of stuff. And I think like a lot of people, her adult life hasn't sort of matched the potential of what her sort of childhood and teenage years look like. Um, and she lives next door to Connie, her best friend, Connie Kaminsky. And um, yeah, the two of them kind of put their heads together and get in, get in some trouble. <laughs> Queen Pins is based on a true story. It's based on three housewives in Arizona who actually pulled off this, this coupon heist. Um, and um, the what's interesting is there's a show called Extreme Couponers, or there was a show um, which got canceled, but part of the reason I learned why it got canceled were because a lot of the people on the show were using coupons that came from this coupon scam. So then obviously the, the show got into legal issues and so the show had to shut down. But that's sort of how far this spread. It wasn't just like this tiny little thing. This was people were using these coupons to the point where they were even using them on this show. Right. And like in preparation for this role, like I said, I did do like couponing. And I think not just to, not just to have the experience, because there's also like certain ways that you cut coupons and like there's different ones. You've got like the coupons that are like on the receipt paper and then you get the coupons in the inserts on Sunday and you get all these different other types. But I think it's ex interesting to have the experience, not just of cutting them, but using coupons because in general, like, like I say, I kind of like a bargain, but I don't go out of my way for it. And couponers, will, you know, they really go out their way, but I, in like I would collect coupons and go to the supermarket and buy my groceries and deliberately do what couponers do, which is like look for these deals. But what I found was so interesting, it's kind of a very interesting um, societal commentary because I got treated so poorly using coupons. Like the people at the register kind of make it seem like you're a, like you're a hassle. There's people behind you that are kind of like rolling their eyes, which is an interesting thing because you're saving money and almost, it's almost like if every if you told someone would you like fifty dollars off your shopping would you take it everyone would be like totally but the idea of seeing someone do it with coupons all of a sudden they become this burden but i just i found that really interesting and i found that a really interesting part of building this character is knowing that not just what couponing is but how it feels when you're doing it our characters are very yin yang we kind of play off of each other very well i think there are times when she's the sort of devil on the shoulder and i'm the angel and then vice versa it's really fun it's really fun i think it's always fun to play a character that breaks the rules because i think it, most people want to break the rules a little bit or do break the rules i think actually what we're taught is that good people follow the rules but i think what the truth is is that everyone breaks the rules some people get caught some people are watched more some people are punished more but everyone breaks the rules in some way um so it's kind of fun to play a character that flagrantly breaks the rules and breaks the rules i think in a very gray way which is what i think we're dealing with in the world in general of like things aren't black and white and just because something is uh just because something may be bad or even illegal is it what is the what is the moral sort of weight of that that thing and i think that's something that we that aaron and Geeta have done a really good job in towing that line of of what is 
Because, you know, like in this film, these coupons, we even say it in the film, they're all going to be trashed anyway. These coupons that these girls are siphoning and reselling were going to be trashed. But yet, when they take them, it's a crime. But when the companies destroy them, it's totally fine. And I think that it's much more interesting to play something if you're playing a bad character that also has some good and, and vice versa. I mean, everyone, like Vince is, I, I remember when Vince came in to, um, I think it was I one of the days, because we started, Chris and I started about a couple of weeks before Vince and Paul started. And I remember watching Vince and Paul rehearse a scene and just being mesmerized and being like, Vince Vaughn is so funny and him and Paul together are dynamite. Yeah, working with Aaron and Geet, it's the first time I've ever worked with two directors on a project, and I've always been curious as to how that would work. And it's great, I think they come from different angles. You know, Aaron has come from the world of editing, and so I think he sees things much more technically, and Geeta comes from a, the sort of, she approaches things more from the emotional, and so when you get notes, you kind of get a little bit of each from them. Um, and they're both also very, very warm. They had a very clear idea of what they wanted from this film. It's a comedy and it's about these women, but they want it to be real and grounded and not broad. And you know, they come from documentary filmmaking and drama. And so I think that they've just found a really interesting way of presenting a comedy in a way that still feels very, very relatable and doesn't feel 